Okay. Well, un placer. Igualmente. Um, I love the title, Malecha. I feel like that's that's everybody. <laughs> Live created <laughs> us like malechos, right? Exactly, kind of yeah. our characteristics. And how did you come about with the title? I think it's it's kind of like what you said. It's like we were born and we're imperfect and we're a work in progress, but I think there's something so beautiful about that and about learning what makes us vulnerable, learning about what makes us unique and maybe quirky and imperfect. And that's what I talk about. Like every different song in the album is about a different imperfection that I personally feel like I have and I've had to work at, but at the same time, I feel like sometimes we need to celebrate them because it makes us who we are, you know? So I think that's So you're opening the door for all women and men to <laughs> embrace imperfection. Exactly, yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. So tell us about your singles that you've you have out right now. So the singles are uh, Pedazo de that just came out, uh, Consentido, Terco, and Feo, which will all be in this album with a few more s new songs. So basically, yeah, I mean those are like, for example, Pedazo de, it's about feeling like the feeling of being vulnerable and how sometimes we can be weak but at the same time we can learn from that to be a better person and to be stronger and to not let people walk all over you, you know? And then consentido is kind of like being a little too obsessive about different things or different people and just knowing that, yeah, you can learn from that as well. You know, you can notice the good things and the bad things about, you know, kind of like being obsessive. Like it can also make you really good at something because you obsess about that one thing but you need to learn how to you know level that to be you know you, yeah it's kind of like yeah <laughs> a convoluted thing um but but i think it's it's something really beautiful just to learn from those little things so that's what i'm talking about and pedazo de i love how it has like this chinese uh rhythm thrown in there how yeah. did you come with the concept of including that and it makes a difference uh, uh, well, I think we just worked on a lot of songs me and Mateo and we looked at different beats that we each had and and it just happened to be in one of those and I thought that was really cool and I had this concept of the pedazo de of like feeling used and I felt like that was such a good way to bring about kind of like that negative side of an experience but at the same time, it makes it so beautiful that it, it felt like right to incorporate it into the visual aesthetic and the music video and the reds, the dragons, everything. So it kind of tied everything in there. So, yeah. So you're a songwriter and producer. Were you involved in the video? Yes. The making yeah. of it? Yeah. Yeah, like that, con like that concept of like the red and the dragon and the, like all, like the, that, the beautiful visual things, it kind of like, I was kind of deciphering it while we were doing the, the, the music. Um, and then after that, I was really lucky to, to have a huge team of amazing people to, to make that vision a reality. I think, yeah, it was really cool to work on that. So, so I was listening to another interview. You have a song called um, Malecha? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. can you give a little, yeah, of a course. little peek? Um, so Malecha is, well, it's the name of the album, but it's the name of the song, which is definitely the most vulnerable I've ever done. Um, I'm using the piano there because that's basically the first instrument I started to play. And that's where all of this writing came from. So I thought it would be nice to come back to that vulnerability. And, uh, and it's basically talking about that, like feeling, feeling like you're not perfect and battling that with that and deciding of like you know you, you can disappoint people sometimes mm -hmm. by with your imperfections but at the same time you can also grow from them so it's just all a balancing act of like what you take and what you give so definitely excited to hear <laughs> thank you i'm excited for you um, too so but if you don't mind me asking right now um who would you like to have a duet with, collaboration with? Um, I think it'd be really cool to do something with Shakira, Mana. Um, I'd love to do something with Post Malone, for example, Bad Bunny. Um, yeah, I think those are really cool people to, that 
I'd be really curious to see like more more so like the process of how they write, you know, and see what we come up with together. That'd be sick. That's pretty awesome. And will we be hearing any more of like English songs? Yeah, of course. I've been working on 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 stuff in English and stuff in Spanglish and I'm just like I, I never when I write a song I'm never thinking like, okay, now this one is going to it's just like we talk English and Spanish every day, so it just happens. Like I'm just working on different languages and hope hopefully you'll like them. So <laughs> we sure will. <laughs> um, can you share about your social media so people can locate you? Of course. Uh, it's Cordelia with a K and a Y. And it's on uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. I'm out there. Um, so just look me up. <laughs> I'll definitely be following. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys.